Shelly's going to eat him alive. <laughs> so, you were saying? You've confused possibilities with probabilities. According to your analogy, when I go home, I might find a million dollars on my bed, or I might not. In what universe is that 50-50? So what do you think the odds are that God exists? I think there's zero. I believe in science. So you don't think science and religion can go hand in hand? Science is facts. Religion is faith. I prefer facts. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Here's a cool fact for you. A lot of famous scientists believed in God. Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, even Charles Darwin. So Darwin's right about God and wrong about evolution? Now you're getting it. Let's give it up for Sheldon, everybody. What a good sport. Oh. But I wasn't a good sport. At that moment, I vowed to come back the following Sunday and destroy Pastor Jeff. Uh, hello, Mr. Cooper. Is Messy home? Hello, Billy. No, she's at church. I brought her eggs for my chickens. I see that. You can boil them or scramble them. OK. I like fried. OK. I don't like poached. OK. Thank you for your time. OK. You want me to cook those eggs for you, baby? No, they're a gift. Sorry. He even wrote me a note. Eggs from your secret admirer, Billy. All right, can you come in here? I'm cooking. I really need you to come in here. What on earth? Uh-oh. What? Listen to this. French philosopher, mathematician, and physicist Blaise Pascal argued a rational person should believe God exists because you have everything to gain if you're right and nothing to lose if you're wrong. Sounds right. Mima is coming over to watch you. I gotta go. Where? Daddy's not feeling good. We're gonna go see a doctor. Is he okay? He's gonna be fine. You just sit right there. Mima's on her way over to cook you dinner. Can we come with you? No, just stay right there. Don't move. George, let's go. 